Hello and welcome to The Sound Test Room. My name is Jakob Hack, I'm your host and you're watching a Hack Attack episode. We are going to continue with the Navepad tutorial series. Now, if you haven't seen the previous two episodes, I suggest you go watch them and then come back to this one. This is version 2 of the Audible Paint and we're gonna make version 3. But if you don't remember what version 2 sounded like... Nave is a wavetable-based synthesizer, and it's actually got two wavetable oscillators. And right now, we're only using wavetable oscillator number one, so we're gonna scroll down to wavetable oscillator number two, and we're gonna bring up the volume. The next thing we're going to do is to go into the wavetable browser and scroll down to sign sync one. When that's chosen, we just press close. The next thing I'm going to do is to pull down to minus 12. While playing it, I'm going to fiddle with the wave knob. I love it so much. We've got that overtone singing inside our patch now. And what we're going to do is to modulate this knob. This is called the wave position knob. And this knob decides where inside the waveform that Nave is supposed to sample from. Now, there is already a modulation slot right here. So you could just open this up and choose any type of modulation source in this list. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use the modulation matrix. Find an empty slot and open up the browser. Now we're going to use the free envelope to modulate the wave position knob. Close it up, turn it on, and we're going to pull up the strength. In the output slot, we're going to choose the wave to position. So we're using the free envelope to modulate this knob here. The next thing we're going to do is using the loop function inside the free envelope. When using the loop function, it goes through the setting inside the envelope and then restarts. There are two modes. You've got AD and you've got ADSR. And we're going to choose the AD settings. Now I'm going to tweak this while playing it so you can hear the changes. Alright, so now we've got a rhythmical overtone didgeridoo drone going on. Now I like a bit of dissonance inside my patches. So let's make that happen automatically. Go back to the mods and keys page inside the matrix. We choose an empty slot and we're going to use LFO2. Turn it on, exaggerate on the strength and send that to wave to pitch. Now it's going to be a bit exaggerated, but I'm going to tweak it while I play it. Now our Audible Paint version 3 is sounding better and before I forget it I am going to rename our patch version 3 and save it. Well that's it for this episode, stay tuned for episode number 4 in which we will just continue evolving our pad. As usual, Doug Woods, Colin Sweeney and me, Yoko Pak, it's soundtoestream.com wishes you a very productive week. Now go finger your stuff and have a lot of fun doing it.